Hey guys, this is Gerald and welcome back to another video. So today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys 5 tips on how to move better on court. So stay tuned. First tip, keep your knees bent. So you want to keep your center of gravity low. So lower your back, lower your knees. How low you should go really depends on the personal, uh, personal preference because some people prefer to bend a lot lower but some people prefer, you know, like for me, I stay relatively high. Uh, find your own comfort height. So the goal is to make sure that you stay low and you're very prepared to react and change direction. So generally, when you're defending, you stay a lot lower. When you're attacking, you stay a lot higher. So that's tip number one. So tip number two is to keep your upper body stable. So this is a bad example. Notice how the inertia from my upper body is causing me to you know, change directions a lot slower. Plus, I'm a lot less accurate. Now here's a good example. When you're stable, you change direction a lot quicker. You're able to control your shuttles a lot better. And you're able to aim a lot better. See, I'm not even tired. So the third tip is to return to the middle as much as you can. So the center of the court is where you know your coverage of all direction is kind of balanced. So you want to always try to return to the middle as best as you can. So make it a good habit. Whenever you hit the shuttle, try to return the middle as quickly as you can. However, there's an exception to this rule, and I'm going to talk about that right now. So tip number four is to adapt your base position. So if you know that your opponent is going to hit towards the back, sometimes you have to adapt your base position and stay a little bit towards the back. And if you know that your opponent is likely to hit a front shot, for example, if you do a very tight net shot, you want to stay in front, adapt the base towards the front because that's where you get the most advantage for the game. Similarly, not only do you adapt your base like towards the front or towards the back, you can also adapt them towards the side. If you kind of know that the opponent is going to hit towards the right, you adapt your base towards uh, to the right. For example, when you smash, you notice how I change my base a little bit more to the right, a little bit more to the left depending. Wait a minute, before we continue, please. Help me hit the subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm and be sure to share it with your friends so that they can improve their footwork as well. Alright, for the last tip, it's all about getting familiar with doing deep lunges because a lot of amateur players I know have difficulty keeping their balance when they're doing deep lunges and this really affects them when they're trying to take very deep shots. For example, the two fronts and the two baselines. So here's an example of an exercise that I do to try to, you know, show you guys that you need to get comfortable with this kind of deep lunges. So a simple exercise that you can do to work on the stability is to do lunges itself. So there's the forward lunge and then there's the side lunge. So do this maybe 20 repetitions and you want to get that nice deep lunge and maintain stability. So that's it for this video guys. If you found this helpful, please hit the thumbs up and share this with your friends. After all, if your friends are better, they're going to push you and you're going to get better. Alright, so I'll see you around next time. Have a nice day. Ciao, ciao.